In this video, I'm gonna explain 10 really important steps and tips that you need to know to ensure that you're gonna be successful with print on demand. Some of the things I'm gonna show you are things that you definitely need to avoid. Other things are things that you need to make sure you include or focus on, but they're all really important steps that are gonna help you succeed with print on demand. If you've been following me for a little while, you'll know that I've been trying print on demand for quite a while now. When I first started, if you watched some of my earlier videos, I failed, it didn't work out. And now I'm actually managing to have success with print on demand and making some really good profit from it. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to sit down and just explain some really important steps and tips that you need to know. Before we dive in, I just wanna give a big shout out to Printful who have kindly offered to sponsor this video. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I was already using Printful. Highly recommend them. They're a print on demand company that take care of all of the printing and fulfillment. And if you wanna sign up for a free Printful account, you can use my referral link in the description down below. Now let's dive into it. Number one is check to see if your niche is restricted on TikTok, Facebook, Etsy, or any of the other big platforms out there. This is one of the biggest issues that I faced with one of my earlier print on demand businesses. You might remember if you've been watching my channel, I tried to start an NFT wall print business using print on demand. I thought it was a genius idea, but I ran into a lot of issues specifically on TikTok with this business where they would not allow me to advertise the business on TikTok because it was in the NFT space and it was kind of associated with crypto. So it's really important to make sure you check the terms and conditions of all of the main platforms like TikTok, like Facebook, and even like Etsy, because you don't wanna run into any issues later down the line. Even if you're planning on starting off doing free organic traffic, it's always worth making sure that the niche is not restricted on any of those platforms in case you wanna upscale later down the line. Just a few niches that I know are restricted off the top of my head is finance, obviously, crypto is another one, NFTs, anything to do with drugs and there's a long list and obviously different platforms will have different rules but make sure you check them out before you dive in. Number two is make sure you have cash flow to fulfill your orders. Print on demand is a business model that you in theory can start with no investment and that's because the products that you're selling on your website or on your listings are paid for by your customers before you have to place the order from Printful. So in theory you can get started for free. However you will usually need a little pot of cash or a credit card in order to help you fulfill those orders. And that's mainly because there's a delay with withdrawing your funds from your payment processor. So it's always a good idea to have a credit card or some cash on hand that you can actually use to fulfill those orders from Printful while you're waiting for your payments to complete. If you're totally broke and you've got no money, you still can make this work because you could just in theory tell your customers that there is gonna be quite a delay when they place the order and you could wait for the funds to withdraw. But usually it's always best to have a little pot of cash or a credit card and you can use your credit card to actually earn points as well, which is always a bonus. Number three is the more designs, the better. Do not be afraid to create lots of different designs. When you're doing print on demand, everything is taken care of. The printing, the fulfillment, that's all taken care of. The only thing that you need to focus on really is the designs. And this is where people get lazy. They'll just create one or two designs for a new t-shirt and then they'll leave it at that and hope that it sells like crazy. When what you really should be doing is thinking of lots and lots of different designs. Try different designs that will appeal to different people. Try different niches. Put as many of them out there as you can and then you'll start to see that some of them take off and then you can start to refine it and focus on the ones that really do sell. But at the start, you should be definitely putting out lots of different designs. And I know this does take a bit of time at the start to create these designs, but that is what is gonna set you apart from everyone else and help you be successful. And a great way of creating lots of design quite quickly is to use Printful's Design Maker. They've got a drag and drop design maker on their website, but it's got lots of pre-made templates already and clip arts that you can use on your products. So you can actually just go in there, change them up a little bit, and you can make lots of different designs quite quickly. Number four is don't offer too many variations of the same product. Now, I know I just said create as many designs as possible, but what you should not do is create lots of variations of the same product on the same listing. And what I mean by that, when I say variations, I mean things like colors. So Printful have got lots of different colors available for their t-shirts, which is great, but you don't need to offer them all at the same time, all on the same listings, because this will confuse your customers and confusion kills conversions. So you probably wanna to stick to less than five different color options per item so you're not confusing your customers. Because if someone spotted a t-shirt that they like the design of, 
they clicked on your listing, they're about to buy, and then you're offering them 50 different colors, they might go, oh, maybe this one, maybe this one. I don't know. I'm going to ask my, my, my partner where, which color they think looks best. They're going to go away. They might forget about the listing. They might not come back. So what you want to do is you want to create not a lot of confusion and just give them less than five colors to choose from. This will really increase conversions. Number five is tax. Now I get it. Tax is super boring and everyone hates it. Well, I hate it anyway, but it's really, really important to be across your sales tax when you start a print on demand store. Now, I'm not a tax expert or a financial advisor, and the rules for sales tax vary greatly depending on where you're living. So if you're worried about tax, make sure you speak to some kind of financial advisor or tax expert, or you can check out this video from Printful all about tax. Just to give you a really quick overview of my situation, just to give you an idea of how it works. So I'm based in the UK and I'm VAT registered. So when I sell a product like a t-shirt on Etsy, I have to actually collect sales tax or VAT from my customers. And then when I'm actually gonna purchase a t-shirt from Printful, they're now based in the UK. They've got a fulfillment center based in the UK. So I actually have to pay VAT on those purchases. But because I'm VAT registered, I can claim that VAT back from the government, which basically means it cancels itself out. So I don't really have to worry about VAT. But as I said, it's very complicated and it varies depending on where you live. So make sure you do your own research before you dive in. Number six is don't get sued. Now, when you're starting a print on demand store, especially if you're trying to create lots of designs like I've told you to do, it could be quite tempting just to borrow some images from Google and add them into your designs. Or maybe you've got a favorite film star and you might want to add their image onto the front of one of your mugs to help it sell more. This can be quite tempting, but you need to avoid this because it can get you into a lot of trouble. You need to make sure that you've got the rights to use any of these images in your designs. And a lot of these things that you find online will be copyrighted. So make sure you do research before you use any of these images and make sure you're allowed to use them. Phrases can also be copyrighted as well, so make sure you keep an eye out for those too. But if you do want to find some copyright royalty-free images and drawings, then you should definitely check out pixabay.com and pexels.com. These are libraries full of royalty-free images that you're allowed to use in your print-on-demand designs, so make sure you check them out. Number seven is kiss your customer's feet. Now, I don't mean literally kiss their feet. I just mean treat them well, treat them like royalty. I've got an Etsy store that's got 100% five-star reviews, but you know what? I've made mistakes. I accidentally set something up wrong and someone got the wrong item. Some things have been lost in the post. There's a few things that were delayed, but all of those customers have come back and given me a five-star review. And you know why that is? It's because I've treated them well. I've treated them like royalty. Now, I'm fairly new to this business, and most people watching this video are probably new, so mistakes will happen. But if you're honest to your customers, you treat them well, you're attentive, you give them the time of day, you reply to their messages, and you explain the situation, usually they will come back and give you a good review. And don't forget, you're building a brand. So one unhappy customer leaving a bad review can actually cost you 10 more customers. So definitely make sure you're giving each customer the time of day, especially at the start, to help you build your brand. Number eight is that you don't have to be the cheapest. One of the biggest things that I've heard quite a lot since I've started telling people about my print-on-demand business is like, how can you make this work when there's other people selling similar t-shirts for seven pounds? How are you ever gonna make this profitable? But the truth is you don't have to be the cheapest. People are happy to pay a higher price for a higher quality or unique product or design. Some of my t-shirts I'm selling for $29.99. I've been selling phone cases for $19.99 and people are still buying them because they are unique designs and they're high quality as well. So if you're using a high quality printing service like Printful, your customers will be happy and they are actually happy to pay a higher price. A lot of people are actually put off from these low price seven pound t-shirts because it looks like a cheap low quality t-shirt. And then they see my t-shirt available for $19.99 with good five star reviews because people have been reviewing it. They're happy to pay that because they can see that it's good quality and it's also a unique design. So don't think that you have to be the cheapest. In fact, if you are selling very cheap products, try increasing your prices and you actually might see an increase in sales. 
Number nine is order samples. Now, this is not super, super necessary, but it's very good idea to train order samples before you start selling your products. You haven't got to order samples of every single variation or every single design, but it's good just to order maybe one or two just to make sure that the product looks good before you start selling it to your customers because there's nothing worse then you sell in like a hundred t-shirts and then realizing that the logo is too small or maybe it's misaligned and it's not centered. So that one sample could potentially save you hundreds of bad reviews. Also, Printful have got a discount available when you order samples through their website. So you haven't got to pay full price so it can save you a bit of money. But another really good reason why you should order samples is because you can use them in your promotional materials. So mock-up generators is a great and you can get some really realistic looking mock-ups online, but there's nothing better than actually having a real product that you can use in your videos and images. Number 10 is 10X your listing. Now a lot of people try print on demand and they might spend ages researching and coming up with the perfect niche for their store. They then might spend hours and hours creating lots of different designs and then they fall at the last hurdle because they don't put enough effort into their product listing. Whether you're selling on Shopify or Etsy, you really need to put a lot of time and effort into creating the perfect product listing that has got the wow factor. There's really no point putting all this effort creating these designs if you're not gonna showcase them enough and sell them to your audience. You need to have lots of images flat lays, lifestyle mock-ups, different colors, different people wearing your product and showcasing your product. You also need to make sure you're including size guides so people know the sizes of the products. You need to make sure the descriptions are thorough and they're personalized and they answer any of the questions that your future customers might potentially have. And this will really help increase conversions. I can't stress it enough. You need to be putting a lot of effort into this product description and this product listing. So that's it, those are my top tips. Don't forget you can sign up for a free Printful account using my link in the description. And if you wanna watch more print on demand content, you can click here. Until next time, cheers guys.